Welcome back to this channel. Today we're going to be learning how to make a whack-a-mole game in Scratch. Before you watch this video, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to watch our other videos. So as you can see here, I'm going to be deleting the Scratch cat and going to choose a sprite and click on the paintbrush. So first we're going to make the holes. So I'm going to take the circle tool and make a nice oval like this. Now, I'm going to drag that over there and make it a little bit smaller. Since we're going to be creating multiple holes and we need space for them all. I'm going to make this 80. Hmm, I think that would be enough for now. So then I'm going to take the bucket tool and select a sort of yellowish brown color. There we go. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate this and make the mole on top. I made the mole using tools like the circle tool and the line tool, the paintbrush and the bucket tool. To make my mole, I'm giving you freedom to make your mole however you want it to be. So I'm going to again duplicate the sprite. And whenever we hit the mole using the hammer, we want it to give like a little expression. So I'm just going to delete these eyes and use the line tool to make this sort of eye. It looks kind of cute. Then we're going to... Give it some detail. There we go. That looks good. So now we're going to go to the code bar. And let's start with the code. I positioned the mole so that you can see it clearly on the screen. And I'm in the event section here. And I'm going to be dragging when this flag is clicked. So whenever we click on the flag, we want the game to start. So um, we're going to go to motion and make sure the sprite's position is this, minus 156 and the y is 104, which is right over here. I think that's the perfect position. Then we're going to go to control and drag create a clone of myself. So we wanted to create multiple holes, not just one, right? Then I'm going to go to motion and drag change X by. So this will change the position of the clones to be a distance of 150. Okay, and we want this to be repeated three times so that we can make three clones since it's a row of three. So I'm going to go to control again and drag the repeat block right over here just underneath the go to block and then we're going to change this number to three let's test that out wow we have three holes as you can see here we made our row now but we have to make our columns too let's go to the motion section and drag set x so we want to set the clone to the original place as the original sprite. So that would be minus 156. And then we want it to move down. So we're gonna change Y by minus 100. And then we're gonna take another repeat block right over here and change that to three. So let's test that out. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? But you can see there's this extra clone here. So um, I'm going to go to looks and drag the hide block. But we also want our original sprite and our clones to show. So right on top of the go to block, we'll drag this show block. So let's test it out. 
There we go. That's perfect. Also, let's drag switch costume to costume one, which is our hole here. Yeah, this is perfect. We did this set of the game. Now it's time to actually whack the molds. I'm going to go to the control section and drag when I start as a clone. So when I start as a clone, forever, I want it to wait for a random amount of 1 to 5 seconds. We don't want all our clones to appear at the same time. We want them to appear at random amounts, like one second, then it will go away, and then five seconds, it will go away. That would be a lot cooler, just like how the actual whack-a-mole game is. So we're going to wait for a random one to five seconds, so each clone will appear at different times. Then I'm going to go to looks and drag switch costume to two, which is this costume over here then we're going to wait for 1.5 seconds and then we're going to switch back to costume one which is this empty hole let's test our game out and see how it is so i'm just going to click on the green flag wow look at it so many moons This just reminds me of the original game, but there is no point here. We need to whack the moles with the hammer. So let's do that bit of code. I made a sprite called hammer. So um, I'm gonna go to the code section here and drag when this flag is clicked. So we wanted to follow our mouse pointer. So I'm gonna go to the control section and drag the forever block. Then I'm gonna go to motion and drag the go to block. Instead of random position, we want it to follow our mouse pointer, so we're gonna change that. That's nice. Make sure your hammer is not too big. Make it a little bit smaller. So now let's actually be able to score points by walking the molds. I'm gonna go to event section and drag when this flag is clicked for ever if the mouse is down then we want it to move 30 degrees to the right so let's change that and then we're going to wait for 0 0.5 seconds and then we're going to move 30 degrees to the left let's test that out That's amazing. So, what we just did was we created a little animation for the hammer. So whenever we click on the mole, um, the hammer would do its little movement and then we would score points. So, I'm going to go to play and this is the moment we have all been waiting for. How to score points. So I'm going to go ahead and drag. When I start as a clone, in control section and then I'm going to drag a forever and an if statement so forever if then let's go to operators and drag two ands so if touching hammer and mouse is down and costume number is equal to two if you don't know what costume is two it's this one so i'm going to go to looks scroll to the very bottom and drag costume number is equal to two then we're going to switch costume to costume number three wait for 0 0.5 seconds And then switch to costume number two. And then we're going to go and create a variable called score. 
So let's change variable score by one. And let's set score by zero. Let's play and see how it goes. Oh my God, it actually works. This is so cool, right? So you can stop here, but I'm going to be adding a windscreen. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to now create a new sprite by clicking on the paintbrush tool. And now let's begin making the windscreen. So let's go to the code tab and first let's change its position to zero, zero, the center. Perfect. Now let's go to play a sprite and drag when flag is clicked forever. If let's go to operators and drag the OR block. If score is equal to 20 or score is greater than 20, then we want it to broadcast a message called win win then let's go to sprite one and drag when i receive win win it will go front layer it would show and it would stop all and when the green flag is clicked, we want it to hide. All right, let's test that out, shall we? You can see it's shown you win, play again, and it has stopped all. So this is perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.